That same storm system that hit Arkansas is now blamed for more than two dozen deaths across the country. This is just across the country. Just last night, the system moved into the northeast, causing tornado warnings. And CBS's Bradley Blackburn has that story. The damage is spread across so much of the country, from Tennessee. The whole house, you could feel it shaking. To Wisconsin, to Pennsylvania, as the severe system moved east Saturday. Oh my goodness. In Bridgeville, Delaware, a tornado touchdown took out trees and homes and was blamed for one death. In Ohio, a 13-year-old girl died after a tree fell on her home. Officials said she was trapped inside. In Sullivan, Indiana, at least three people killed Friday and 200 buildings heavily damaged. And from Belvedere, Illinois, more video shows the terrifying moments inside the Apollo Theater after the roof collapsed during a concert. Rescuers tried to pull people out of the rubble. 90 mile per hour winds ripped the building apart. Dozens were hospitalized and one man killed. Oh my God. In Arkansas, twisters touching down in Little Rock and in the town of Wynn, where there were at least four deaths. The back of the house. Jane Smith's home was heavily damaged while she took shelter in her basement. You had no idea it was doing this much damage out here. It was so fast. Little Rock resident Cody Coombs survived a close call, sitting in his truck when the winds intensified and a tornado approached. Yeah, 100% did think I was going to die. His dash cam captured debris flying in the air, trees toppling, but his truck was spared. I got a little crack in my windshield. I'm very lucky. Arkansas's governor has declared a state of emergency and activated the National Guard as the recovery continues. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News.